You know, there are many complicated techniques and concepts regarding gameplay. However, the most thing that most beginner players um, struggle with is just basic technique on how to play the game effectively. So we're going to cover tapping, how to stream properly, how to do stacks, how to aim, how to do snaps, how to hold your pen properly, how to hold your mouse properly, how to tap properly. Just good techniques and advices for it. Um, we're going to cover a little bit of reading, and other than that, that you should be set with the game. So first, let's talk about how to hold your tablet if you're a tablet user. So, let me just face this this way. With tablet, and let me give you another angle here. Okay. With tablet, there are two main grips. Sorry, my bed's messy, I know. There are two main grips you can do. There's the close grip, and then there's the far grip that most players do as well. So... These two have different advantages and disadvantages. With the really close grip, it's a lot easier to make really precise movements and you do have a really wide range of motion, but that range of motion also comes with a, like you just have to really practice it, if that makes sense. You have to have a smaller area for it. But with this sort of um, grip, you can have a really big area and have a lot more precision from the area itself and also still be really quick so how do you do these two grips the first one what are you gonna what do you, you the first thing you're gonna notice about this first grip is that with your hand itself the center of your hand is actually your index finger so your index finger is really doing the aiming you can try this yourself without using your middle finger at all it's just your index finger and your thumb sort of supports it just to hold the pen so when you get more advanced with your grip you can actually not even use your middle finger to support for the top area, but that's that's what like most players do when they're more used to the game. But for beginners, just hold it really, really relaxed, and also make sure that the pen is sort of following the knuckle of your index finger. And <laughs> nice, and you just have a really nice motion, and use your wrist. But make sure you're not using your arm. Make sure your wrist is planted down, or at least really loosely planted down, because you want to sometimes have this motion. But not use your, you know, don't use that type sort of motion. Okay, with this grip, it's basically the same thing, except you're using more of your wrist, and your fingers are used for vertical motion. So, like I said, it's advantage for more speed, but it's really hard to control. But it's still good. It's still a very effective grip. Sorry, my bad. Um, Alright, now that aside, the main thing to focus is just relaxation. You do not want to have a tense grip or else it's just going to ruin your gameplay. Okay, mouse. So with mouse users, I know no mouse pad. I would recommend a really large square mouse pad for gaming. I just have this skin irritation thing, but that's irrelevant. So with your mouse, most players do this. And I'm not sure if you see what's wrong, but it's really ineffective. For me to move up or down, you have to use your whole elbow to push up or down. And that's just a waste of movement. What most pro players do is they actually have a little bit of a gap. So they hold it normally, but they have enough of a gap to use your fingers to actually move up and down. And this also allows for really precise movement and everything associated with movement itself. Your wrist as well, moving horizontally and mouse using up and down, that's pretty self-explanatory. But just make sure your your there's like a, just a gap. Doesn't matter if it's really big or small, but just as long as there's a gap, and you're not doing this sort of grip or like something tense, it should be good. You can also test with quirks with your mouse, so you can actually tilt it to the left if you like having more of your thumb in the in like involved, or you can tilt to the right. This is not really comfortable for your wrist because it's going against the flow of your muscles, but some players do like it. But I would really not recommend it because it can get strained, like you know, it can get really tense. So with that, let's show you what I mean. Now I don't have this one. Uh, plugged up because it's not super good. So I'll just use this mouse, but it should be, be the same thing. It's just my school mouse. I like wireless. And I do really, you know, just easier. Now 
Now I'll link this in the description. These square jump practice maps are insanely effective. Like, it's mandatory that you know these angles if you want to get far. I know. I Don't worry about the background, okay? I'll delete the background. I know there's some of you that's like, ugh. Um, let me just delete every single background real quick. Just so it's not distracting. There we go. So, with these square jump practice maps, the whole map is nothing but squares. Now, this is really important because all it, it just teaches you how to do these angles. Now, easier angles are angles that are uh, under 90 degrees, so such as a square. These are a very healthy medium because these angles are super comfortable, but they're still hard for new players, especially with mouse and etc. Um, as you can see, with this jump, I use my, in, mi um, my fingers to go down and then my wrist to move up. And same with tablet. Let me just grab it real quick. So it's it's that you just got to really oh whoops you got to get really comfortable with that motion of fingers and wrist. It's the same concept. That's why when you get really um, good at the game, you can actually just play mouse really well, even though you don't main mouse. Anyway, so learning ninety degrees teaches you three things. It teaches you shorter angles, which are more easy, and wider angles, which are much harder. Now, it sort of teaches you in between, but when you get the gist of this, you can actually do a lot of, um, a lot more shapes and patterns. Okay. So with this, um, square, like I said, down, same with tablet, wrist right, and then up, and you just practice that. Now this one, of course, you're going to use your wrist. So it's the same sort of motion. This one is more wrist heavy because it's doing, you basically only use your wrist and you just sort of slightly aim it with your, in, um, you know, your fingertips. You don't really think about this. You want to make this really ingrained and it is really intuitive, but I'm just explaining it so it's really clear of what I'm talking about. There's also this thing, mouse drift. So sometimes players will end on the top right of their mouse pad. To compensate for this, when you have a long slider or a really slow part, just re-grip. You know, that's what most players do if you have really bad mouse drift. But yeah, that's jumps. Pretty self-explanatory. And there's one more thing you can do that can help with reading. Now, processing four objects at a single time is really hard. Sometimes, like, when you get used to it, yeah, sure. But... For newer players, it's just really hard to get understood or like just, you know, it's just h much more difficult to really understand what I mean. So with a square, I'll show, I'll show what I mean in a second because that makes no sense. So with a square, you're thinking down, right, up, right? Down, right, up. But if you do this, you're just thinking down and up. You completely avoid your wrist, and that makes you think less of this of the um, pattern. So you can all just think of just the two lines up and down, and that can it's just how you organize in your mind. So like when you have a let's say you have a really messy shape, like like some random map that has, makes no sense. Let me make it a good rhythm so it actually makes sense. There we go. For me, I think like a triangle here. And then a new triangle here. And then a new circle. See how much easier that looks? It's just triangle, triangle up. As opposed to like, oh, triangle up, right, down. Like, you know, that's like, oh, this sort of looks like a square and that looks really awkward. And then like, it's just too confusing. So this comes with time and experience, but it's just really, it's something that you should keep in mind. All right. Well, I'll link this map in the description. There's also another map set I want to show you. Corner jumps. So with aim, these maps are just wide jumps and they're very great for expanding your range of motion. So for new players, their really range of motion is really tiny. When they have a jump, they can't really 
move or it's just really difficult so we're playing with these maps which the jumps are insanely wide like seven star jumps you can really practice this on the idea of fingertips and wrist and just movement in general um, there's also something called snapping and that's just memorizing where the circle is and using like for this I just think wrist and I just snap but that's more advanced you don't really have to worry about that um, I'll probably make a video later explaining that, but yeah. This is also another great map set, and it can go all the way to top top tier playing. Like, this is really insanely advanced um, jumps. So, has every range of skill set for you. Alright. Now, that's aim. Let's move on to tapping. Now here's where the fun begins, because a lot of players sort of just tap. They don't really focus on what they're actually doing with their technique. So, preferably, oh, before I continue, with mouse, get a good mouse with a sensor. That's just common sense. Same with keyboard. A mechanical keyboard's great for tapping. You can use a uh, membrane. I know, what's his name? I know this player, it's like cookie something he could stream 300 bpm on a membrane so you don't really need it but it's just just makes it nice there are two muscles with your tapping there is your wrist and there is your like streaming these are basically the same muscle because when you move your wrist you're using the same tendons to move your um these two fingers like when you stream some players use ring and index these are both of them are fine except with ring and index you don't have to worry about the turning t tilting tip which I'll explain later so most players use this now there's a few ways to go about it you can either single tap with your index finger single tap with your middle finger start triplets so if you have just so the best way to do it is just play and find what finger you play most common and if it's your middle finger just play with your middle finger from now on and usually when you do triplets, um, you start with your dominant finger. For me, because I'm a weirdo, I single tap with my index finger. And I start with my middle. Now, when you get super advanced, you got to start learning how to do both. Like, you can s just alternate, like, tapping with your middle, tapping with your... But you really don't have to worry about that now. I'm just letting you know so you're aware. This is probably a lot of information, so you might have to rewatch this several times to really understand everything but start with small concepts at a time now use your wrist mainly but make sure you're not s really smacking into the keyboard like you don't need too much effort you know you can you can really minimize it and have effective speed by doing that when you single tap faster it's more preferable to have your hand wide i like to do my pinky more Remember, you're not being tense as well. I like to have my pinky more outstretched, so I can still do triplets. It's a very subtle change, because when I'm in a streaming mode, my my pinky is higher, and it frees up all my tendons. Um, that's just a sort of technique if you're doing really fast BPMs and you can't, like, switch. You want to really, like, know what you're doing with your pinky and everything. So, the same thing hap again, your, the ha center of your hand is your index finger. So, your index finger is kind of short, as you can see. It's much shorter than your middle finger. So, you actually have to tilt your hand to the, to the right a little bit, so it's more even, as you can see here. You have to do this. If you tap like this, it's fine, and you can get really used to it, but you can finger lock, because your index finger doesn't go down all the way. So you have to tilt a little bit just to know know about that. Um, this is completely out like irrelevant if you're doing ring and middle. As you can see, they're the same length, usually. So I mean, hands are different. You can have really long ring finger. I don't know, but just think about tilting and stuff. It's really useful. With tapping, there's this bat pack called long string practice, and just start with 120 or something. And just really get used to using your alternating your fingers. Now, when practicing these map packs, there's one thing you need to look for: low burns. 
if you get anything above a low burn, like a like a start, like a like a a pinch in your muscle or sharp pains or like just really tired, just stop. Just stop the map. Do not continue and take a break. Like don't don't ruin your hands. There's more than there's you can your hands can do more than clicking circles. So it's really effective. Why am I saying really effective? No, that makes no sense. It's really important that you like I'm not I can't stress this enough. Don't damage your hands. Don't get RSI. It's really um I mean you won't and this is more aimed to like really high BPM, but it's just something you need to keep in mind. You don't want to like low burn is fine. Just take a minute breath, like minute rest. A low burn should feel like you're getting tired and there's just like a like doing push-ups or something. There's like a like a soreness, but it's not so bad to the point where like it's sharp. Anyway, so we're tapping, as you can see with the second camera, hopefully. Let me tilt that up a bit. There we go. Okay. Your pinky is usually higher. It's like a linear motion. And I'm going to use index and middle for the sake of this demonstration. And you sort of have this. It's really slight. It's not insanely, you know. It just makes your hand more straight. And you just alternate. Like I said, you can start with your index finger, middle finger, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's, you're being consistent with it. Now with this slow BPM, you don't really need too much, um, like I can do this. And I can still tap. But it's really friendly to learn. Just learn how to move one finger from another and focus on like getting really good acts. So if I'm actually paying attention, You're hitting all of them as best as you can. Now, you're not going to get 300 straight away, but you'll be really close. With these, I'll give you a side tip. If you go to your settings, which you can access by Control O, um, if you go to general, right, there's a score meter type hit error. Make sure your score meter size is large, not like five, but like pl above two. What a score meter is, is when you hit a circle, this bar at the bottom pops up, and this is really useful for this specific type of training. This is, um, your blue, you can guess it, it's where you get 300s. Green, 100, yellow, 50s. If you're, if this is to the right, you're aiming too late, so you gotta speed up. If this is to the left, you're really quick, so you gotta slow down. And it's really nice to have it big, so you don't have to look, and it can just be in your peripheral. So for example, if I'm speeding up, it'll go to the left. So I need to slow down to get it back to the blue range. And if I go too slow, like this, you gotta speed up to get it back in the middle. There you go. After you can pass this, I will just move to 140. Because 140 is a more realistic BPM that you're gonna use. And just do that. I would move on up until you get to 170. After this point, you're not a beginner. You can, you have really solid tapping, tapping technique, you know, and you can just tap really well and really cleanly. Higher the BPM is, the less you have to worry about act. Wow, this is a really long video. I'm sorry about this. Um, we're going to end it up shortly anyway. There's another map pack I want to give you, but I have some um, custom difficulties with low BPMs. This is to practice triplets. So... Like I said... If you want to practice... If this is too fast, like really, just put half time. And just really understand what you're trying to do. So I like doing it with my middle finger. Because I don't know, I'm just weird. Most players do with the index. It just doesn't matter what you think. Just tap, like practice. With this map, just tap really hard to understand, um, to really ingrain the muscle memory at first. Later, you're not going to tap too hard. There's also alternating where you fall. You just, you always use both fingers like this. It's really hard, actually. That's also really, really good effective use, but that's for more advanced because it, it just doesn't really matter at the moment. 
Alright, um, that pretty much sums up the basics of the game. If you can do these three, you're like guaranteed, I'm not gonna say rank because this might be a really old video now, but you're guaranteed like above a thousand PP at minimum because it's just, after that point, it's just getting used to these basic techniques. Um, I hope that makes sense, hope this helps you. And I'll probably make another video soon, I don't know when, but yeah, hope it, hope it was valuable to you. Alright, have fun practicing O's.